has been the biggest difference these last three starts in particular? Uh, I think just command. Uh, command's been a lot better. I've been pitching inside a little bit more. Um, and, you know, that, that has better results. You know, softer contact. And, uh, you know, you can sort of keep the guys guessing up there. It seemed like second time through you really started featuring that curveball and getting good results with it. Did it feel good all night or was that just the game plan? You know, yeah. coming in second time through. Yeah, I mean, you know, you, you try to save some pitches or some looks for uh, the second or third time around. So, um, you know, it's usually the game plan with a curve. I mean, you know, uh, I may use it a lot more in the first inning, some games, you know, but, uh, you know, it just depends on the situations. Um, you know, you just got to mix it up with these guys, especially. The results out of the stretch have been a lot better with the last handful of starts. Are you doing anything different or is it just getting just better results? Yeah, uh, you know, we made a little adjustment to where I, you know, put my landing leg a little bit, uh, you know, even or a little bit even more towards third base. Um, I was having trouble, you know, sort of coming off and uh, when my leg was open more towards first, it's, you know, it's already open. So we closed it off a little bit and it allows me to, you know, get a true fastball on the glove side of the plate. and. Um, better results so far. Zach, does any part of this feel like you're not just pitching for the Mets right now, you're doing some auditioning considering where the team is in the standings? Nah, I mean, you know, my, my mind's right here right now. So uh, I'm trying to help this team win, and that's all I'm really worried about. And uh, you know, the rest will take care of itself. Um, like I said, you know, I, w I want to win here. Uh, if we can you know, roll off a few games, uh, you know, hopefully we can get back in it. How do you keep that on your mind just because I, I know it can be impossible to block out the noise of people texting things, you read things, yeah. you see. I mean, I've, I've, I can't tell you how many years my name's been in trade talk, so I'm kind of used to it right now. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it never gets never gets easy. And, uh, you know, you try to, you know, just keep your mind where it's at. And I think, you know, the past has sort of helped me just, you know, say, you know, whatever, it is what it is. I'm just going to go out there in this pitch and try to help this team. Exact team wise, there's sort of sense of relief tonight. The win kind of goes according to the blueprint. We might have drawn up a few months ago. Yeah, I mean, this win's a big one for us. Uh, you know, hopefully we can get it going from here. Uh, it's a good win against a good team. Um, you know, we were able to keep them off the board and put some hits together late. And uh, JD did a nice job and come forward with a big time hit right there. So, um, you know, hopefully we can start a roll right here and get back in it. The reaction. Is that just total instinct or is it? Yeah, I would say it's in it's, team. It's, it's, you know, it was, you know, as soon as you follow it out the ball, hit my glove, I just turn around and the ball was close to me. I was trying to, you know, catch it with my hand, barrel hand, and finally did it. But that was a nice, nice game today. Those, those guys threw the ball really good. We played good defense. We hit it there. And the good, you know, big hit the, the right moment. That was a great win today. Wilson, trying to throw out the runner on what would normally be defensive indifference, is that something that you guys had pre-planned, or is that just in that moment you feel like you have a shot? Uh, that was another reaction. You know, uh, Diaz, he, he, th he, he threw hard, so that fastball right there made me make a quick move and try to, you know, make a good throw. So I did it well, but finally, you know, we don't get the out, but, you know, we still, I still get excited because I make good throw, almost get that guy out. A role lately with you and Nito basically swapping games for the past week, I think it is. How does that maybe feeling, having been the starter, you know, really your whole career? Ah, like uh, you know, that's never, never happened in my career before, especially when I've been healthy. But you know, I not mad at, at all. You know, I respect all the decisions you know the manager, the manager made. But you know, I was, I'm ready to play every every time he put me in the line. I respect all the decisions he made. So. I'm come back here every day and, and try to do my job every time I'm in the lineup. Line. What is that communication like from Mickey or from any other coaches in terms of how frequently you're going to play uh, or when we, you might be out of the Yeah, we got we got pretty good like pretty good communication. You know, every 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 time after the game we get a message with, if we play or not. You know, sometimes if I want to if I want to play that game, you know, I'm able I'm able to to talk with him more and try to get that that game. Uh, you know, like I say, I always respect my manager decision. How big this was coming from behind, getting clutch hits from these big spots, and, and to knock a team off that's been playing pretty well. Yeah, you know, um, against uh, Atlanta, um, you know, we were struggling to get the big hit, um, and we just couldn't find it that series. And, and, you know, we were getting big hits against Philly, but we couldn't get big hits against Atlanta. And, um, you know, I. 
Yeah, but I think it just says more about this team that you know, even you know, we're down or we're losing or whatever you want to put it. Like we're we're never out of the fight. We always come back, um, especially late in the uh, late in the uh, late in the game. You know, uh, but you know, I think that's who we are, and you know, we just continue to fight. Did he? I don't know if he does get that great slider. He laid off two of them. How difficult is that to? You know, I, I was hoping he would throw it first pitch just so I can see it, but he ended up getting a head 1-0 fastball. But um, I don't know if uh, what the pitch or how, or how they were calling it, but he, I, I know he, two sliders backed up on my inside. I don't know if Gary was calling um, to front hit me, to freeze me, or, you know, he was just getting around it. But, um, you know, it's just, and just the way he was throwing it, being – or having the slider pop out a little bit helped me recognize the pitch um, and just getting to that 3-2 count. Um, you know, I, I told myself to make sure it starts middle in um, and that way it goes more towards the middle of the plate instead of right at me. So. JD, you're hitting around 370 at home now. What is it about here, hitting here that makes you so comfortable at the plate? Uh, I just feel comfortable here. Um, you know, I, I love the atmosphere of New York. I love the fans here. So. Um, I think it's just easier getting in a routine um, when you're at home. You know, you have more time in the clubhouse, you have more time in the training room, more time in the in the weight room, just to get into a better routine. When you're on the road, it's it's a little bit hard going from you know BP to you know straight to basically taking a shower and going out there because you only got about you know 20, 30 minutes and wherever it gets done. So, um, and that's just you know just you know I think being me being young, not finding a routine uh, uh, when we're on the road. But uh, but yeah, I, I love playing here in New York. And I want to give my you know give my absolute best. To these fans. Yeah. What a, as big as this win is for you guys, well played. Do you wonder why you couldn't maybe try to do this a little bit more <laughs> often? Because it seems like you've always had the pieces. To yeah, do it, right? you know we've been you know, we've been it's been a roller coaster. Um, we've been putting ourselves um, early in the year. We put ourselves in in situations to win, and then we couldn't hit. We had that little spell of uh, going to Milwaukee, you know, going to uh, I think the Dodgers or something like that. But, you know, we, we had that spell where we couldn't score any runs and then we're back to scoring runs. Um, you know, it's, it's just the way the baseball is. You know, I, last year, you know, the Mets, I mean, at least I know, like from watching them, like they had a tough time scoring runs. And um, so now we're, you know, we're scoring runs and we take pride in it um, as hitters, you know, just to give our give our pitchers. And we have one of the best staffs. So, you know, it's, it's been a roller coaster for them, but we have absolute faith in them that, you know, um, that they can just absolutely switch or flip the switch in the second half and we can go on a serious run. What about that Paxton at, um, at bat? What are you looking for there? Paxton, um, you know, he's got that good fastball, the good life to it. Um, he got me my first two at-bats, um, and so I just went back to the video room, and I was just, you know, getting a little too late on my hands, getting loaded up. I was getting uh, loaded up on time with my hips, but not my hands, and so that was, you know, causing just a little bit a little bit tardy. Um, and just that at-bat, I really concentrate on the first two pitches of getting super early and just putting the bat on my shoulder and just kind of shortening up everything and simplifying everything. And, um, and again, I just look for a pitch more middle out and, you know, just a pitch I can drive. This is the first slump you've ever been in, but when you break out in that way, in that moment after one for 24, what's the feeling like? It felt great. Uh, definitely, you know, that's a good way to break out for sure. Um, you know, any time you can change the change the game with a big hit, especially in the Subway Series, um, you know, it's, it's going to feel good. So uh, I've been working hard and been, been trying to, you know, get back to the things that I've been successful with and, um, you know, a lot of hard work paying off. So, um, you know, Robbie gave me some good thoughts right before right before I went up there. He said, get him, get him up, get him out over the plate and just hit a fly ball to left. Keep it simple. Um, you know, he said, Edwin's going to shut this thing down for us, just bring in a run. And, uh, you know, so we, we kept it simple. Um, got my pitch and, and just put a good swing on it. Britton's a guy that has a tendency at times to walk people. Are you going up there thinking about being aggressive no matter what, or is the thought in your mind he'll be somewhat selective here based on his history? Well, yeah, I mean, you know, with there being nowhere to put me, um, you know, I figured he wanted to get ahead early, and uh, and then the nasty stuff was going to come, you know, shortly after that. So in that situation, I mean, I just set my sights out over the plate and up in the zone, and, um, you know, ended up getting the pitch that I wanted. So uh, he's, he's got good stuff, so you don't want to wait, wait around for, you know, for him to get real nasty on you. What's the feeling you were dug out there? I mean, that was good and bad, the good and bad, and then yours included. I mean, what's, what's going through your minds? You know, you guys had, had a tough stretch, but trying to come back in this one. Yeah, well, I mean, it's, it's a lot of the same. You know, every, every time we go out there, we, you know, we, we're getting guys on. We're, we're moving the line. Um, you know, we've had 
a lot of games where we've we've scratched and clawed our way back into it. Um, you know, we just haven't been able to finish. Um, you know, that's another story. But um, these guys stay positive every single day. Um, you know, they stay positive. Uh, you know, we play a hard nine innings no matter what. And um, you know, like I said earlier, I mean, you know. The guys set the stage for me. You know, I just happened to be the guy up in that big moment and, and uh, was able to execute. So, um, you know, we just got to keep doing more of the same, and and uh, we're excited to come out tomorrow and, and uh, hopefully win another one. Michael, you don't show a lot of negative emotions, but after the second double play, it seemed like you that kind of a moment of frustration. I mean, can you just describe that that, that, that was the 24 and the one for 24? I mean, is there a moment there where you just when is this kind of turn for me? Yeah, yeah, definitely. I mean, you know, I, I think I think I actually took some good swings today. I think. Uh, you know, I, I was feeling good at the plate, and and honestly, just a little frustrated at, at uh, you know, I, I kind of take pride in being a guy that can at least beat out a double play ball, or uh, you know, I, I feel like I can you know hit the ball in the air, stay out of double plays, you know, not kill the kill the rally that we've we've got going, and and to do it twice in one game was frustrating, but um, you know, I got to give credit to. You know, Paxton was was just dotting that inside corner with with, with his fastball, and uh, he made a lot of good pitches against me. So, um, you know, frustration on just the the overall uh, slump, if you want to call it that. Um, you know, I think it kind of culminates there with, with two double play balls, but that's why we play play nine innings, and, and I knew I was going to get another shot uh, at the end of the game. So, you know, can't hang your head. Um, I definitely was frustrated there for a second, but. I've got great teammates to, to pick me up, to put me in a, in a position to, to have success, and um, you know that's what they did tonight. So uh, hopefully we can get back to work tomorrow and um, you know keep having fun.